Praise the Lord. So like I was saying, like I was saying, you see, this is the result of sin. A result of the foolery of drunkenness, of drug addicts, of, of, of drugs, of smoking. The, the foolery of sin leads to death and leads to people are laid out, laid out, when often it, it, it could have been avoided, but because they refuse instruction, they refuse to turn to God, they refuse um, learning, they refuse to turn their ways. What do we have? This. Because there's things in life that we think is right, but it leads to death. At least in misery. But I'm praying for him. I'm praying that he will get well. I'm praying he may go to a hospital. I'm praying he may go to rehab. I'm praying that this man will rise up and be a man. And take charge of his health. And take charge of his life. And take charge of his existence. And take charge and get help. To be freed from all of his any and all addictions. Amen. Amen. Rise up in Jesus' name. Come on. Rise up. Rise up. Get some help, man. Get some help. You it's up to him. It's, it's his choice if he wants help or not. Get help. Get therapy. Get help. Do it, bro. Do it. Your life is too precious. Feed a waste on drugs, on alcohol. It's too, don't waste it, man. You're worth more than that, man. You got value, man. God has called you for better than that. God has called you, man. Go to rehab. Go to rehab. On the double. Amen. But that's his decision. That's his decision to make. If he wants it or not. God give all of us free will. Free will. Most of us. Uh, we use it. We use our free will wrong. Amen. I don't even know if he even hears me right now. I don't even know if he understands me right now. I hope you know that the Lord, God loves you, man. In Jesus' name, it's time that we rise up. It's time that we take charge of our lives. It's time that we stop going to these liquor stores and, and we put them out of business. But no, they want their money. See, people don't know how, how to deal with their pain the right way. Pain, dealing with pain isn't Drinking alcohol, booze, it's not wise. Dealing with your pain is, is prayer. Dealing with your pain is forgiving your daddy who wasn't there for you. Or your mother who wasn't there for you. It's forgiving those who wronged you. That's how you deal with your pain. When I feel pain, I don't drink alcohol. I worship. When I'm in pain, I don't smoke. I worship. When I'm in pain, I don't have random sex with random disease holes. I worship. Amen. And I got joy in my soul. No regrets. But your way leads to pain, man. Your way leads to death, man. Your way leads to suicide, man. But God's way leads to life. Leads to joy, man. Rise up above your degradation. Rise up above your corruption. Rise up and break free of those chains that have held you in captivity for so long. Break those chains 
of drunkenness. Break those chains of addictions. Break those chains of people pleasing. Stop living to please people. Live to please God. Live to please the maker. Live to please the creator. Or live to please the Lord. Or live to please God. Live to please the Lord. Because God made God made my body. So I'm gonna live to to to, to, to use my, my body in the right way. In the best way possible. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, man. I'm, I'm going to use my time to serve the Lord and not serve the devil. I'm going to serve the Lord and not Satan. I'm going to serve the Lord and not myself. My, my own appetite, my own pleasures, my own desires. I'm going to serve the Lord. I'm going to be a man. I'm going I'm to I'm be confident. Come on. In Christ's name. Rise up. In Jesus name. Take charge. Of your life. Nobody can do it but you. People, people can encourage you. But it's up to you. Yeah. There we go. Do what you gotta do. Wake yourself up. Out of that stupor. Wake yourself up. Out of that stupor. Wake yourself up. Out of the old way of living, the old way of doing things, wake yourself up. Come on, mommy said you were bum, prove her wrong. Dad said you were bum, prove him wrong, prove them all wrong. When are you gonna get tired, sick and tired, being sick and tired? Amen. When? When? It's time, it's time to repent. Oh, it's time to turn away from unhealthy habits, man. Addictions are broken at the name of Jesus Christ. They're broken, man, at the name of Jesus. Amen. God gave you healthy habits, man. Healthy habits. Healthy habits. To be healthy, to be stronger, Healthy immune system, it comes with putting down that alcohol for one for one thing, to put down that those cigarettes, to, to put down the, the cocaine and heroin, to put down the meth, to put away the porn stars, to put away childish living, riotous living, drunken parties. Oh, come, come to party Jesus. Forget those drunken parties. Come to party Jesus. Oh, yeah. Don't let Cardi B be your example. Let Jesus be your example. Don't let Nicki Minaj be your example. Jesus be your example. Don't let Drake be your example. Jesus be your example. Don't let Lil Wayne... Be an example. Jesus. Let him be an example. Amen. Don't let no person, no Jay-Z, no J. Cole be an example. Jesus Christ be an example. Don't let, don't let even, don't let even me be an example. But only when I'm following after Christ. If I fall short, that, that, that's not that's not God's fault. That's my fault. Ultimately, follow Christ. But imitate me as I imitate Christ. Amen. Imitate, but a lot of you are, are imitating your friends. You're imitating your friends. You're imitating the the, the street life. You're imitating the, 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 the gangsters in the in the gangster videos. Wrong selection. You're imitating the thugs. You're imitating um, your favorite comedians. No, imitate Jesus Christ. Imitate the one worthy of your imitation. His model. His model. 
his example. Follow after him. Amen. And be born again. Amen. Amen. God is good. Gonna play me some nice Christian music. I love you all. If you need, if you need prayer, let me know. Any questions, let me know. Amen. Come to God before you die. Come to God before your final breath. Come to God before your time is up. Come to God before it's too late. God's warned you. He's warned you. Don't take his warnings for granted. Amen. Amen.